Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm presenting on the topic, the impacts of religiosity, Afrocentric values and psychological distress on adolescent suicidal ideation in Ghana. Um, as a brief summary, this study focuses on investigating these variables that I just mentioned, psychological distress, uh, Afrocentric values, and religiosity, and how it relates to suicidal ideation among adolescents. Suicide is a major public health concern in various countries, and, and Ghana is not an ex exception. Across the globe, for instance, it is estimated that over or up to about 700,000 people kill themselves a day. Even though the data in Ghana is not so accurate now, we have a rough estimate which is uh, based on newspaper and media reports. And the current estimation is that we have about four suicides occurring each day in Ghana. That's amounting to over 1,500 suicides each year. Now, so that is a big problem. Uh, however, we don't have any concrete researches conducted in Ghana on this very topic. Meanwhile, suicide is it's regarded as a taboo topic and rarely discussed. And even when you consider it from the legal perspective as well, according to the uh, uh, Criminal Offenses Act of Ghana, Section 7, Subsection 2, attempted suicide is regarded as um, a criminal offense. And as per that, very, if anyone attempts suicide and the person is uh, caught, he can be prosecuted for that offense. And so to that extent, this, special, uh, this perspective, for instance, affects the, the statistics on the overall picture of suicide in Ghana. So presently, we, we, this study focuses on uh, adolescents. We had 383 high school students participating in this study. And, um, and then um, we tried to investigate as well the possible rural urban differences gender differences in these factors, religiosity, Afrocentric values, and, um, and then psychological distress and how this relates to suicidal ideation. The method that was used was, uh, um, uh, sorry about that. We used a, a qualita quantitative statistical method in which uh, questionnaires were administered. Questionnaires include Afrocentric scale. We use the Santa Clara Strength of Religious Faith scale. Then as well, K10 Kessler Psychological Distress scale to and then modified scale for suicidal ideation by Miller and Norma and Co. These four scales were used to assess individuals uh, 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 these variables among the adolescents, the 383 participants in the study. And so, first of all, in procedure, the participants were briefed about the content of this research and then they were asked to consent. Issues about uh, privacy and then the right to withdraw from the study were also discussed with the participants as well. And then after briefing on the whole study, then they cons those who consented to participate were handed out the questionnaire. The selection of the participants is uh, on random basis in which random numbers were used to select from high schools, the available high schools, the prospective participants. And after this, those who consented to participate were allowed to complete the questionnaire. And approval was obtained from the school authorities as well. In addition, the Graduate Board of the University of Ghana also approved this topic for the, for, for the research. And then we went ahead, participants completed the, the questionnaires. 
the analysis was done using SPSS version 10 at version, version 20 and generally the T statistical inferential statistical test and then regression multiple regression analysis was done in analyzing the data and here are the results we observe from the study that religious religiosity which tests the individual's affiliation and commitment to uh, religious activity we didn't measure belonging to either islamic or uh, non-islamic catholic faith no that is not what this questionnaire tested it tested the affiliation to religious practice despite the denomination or the type of uh, the religion that the individual attests to the results indicated that there is a strong relationship between uh, suicidal ideation and religiosity and that individuals with higher religiosity scored lower in suicidal ideation and so this confirmed one of the hypotheses that was tested which relates to the fact that there will, or which indicated that there will be negative relationship between religiosity and psychological uh, uh, and uh, suicidal ideation the results also indicated that Afrocentric values, which measures the individual's connection, connectivity to their, their African culture. In fact, this concept of uh, Afrocentrism focuses on the way Africans or persons from African religion, uh, uh, African descent, are uh, so much af akin or affiliated to their culture and so much hard to separate themselves from the culture and there are various dimensions to this including concern for each other family affirmation connections within and then fellow feelings which are all ingrained in the Africa, african culture so the study indicated that persons who are high in these afrocentric values also have lower societal ideations in addition we tested if there's a connection, the interaction between the individual's religiosity and Afrocentric values, if there's a connection between the interaction and how they impacted on psychological, uh, uh, the suicidal ideation that the adolescent may experience. And what was observed was that the re religiosity combining with Afrocentrism impacted on the the level of distress that individuals, psychological distress that individuals experience. And as well, that also impact, impacted on the, psycho, uh, the um, suicidal ideation that they will also experience. The explanation is that if there is a strong religiosity, there is a strong African descent affiliation, which is Afrocentric values. These two variables combine they have affected negatively the impact that uh, uh, the, the two combining when the, the relationship is so strong, it's resulted in negative suicidal ideation. In the inverse, when these values are lower, then suicidal ideation was higher. Additionally, we also observed that there were differences in rural and urban uh, participants. And that rural uh, residents had significantly higher psychological distress and as well that also affected their suicidal ideation as well so they experienced higher uh, psychological distress and as well they also had higher su uh, suicidal ideation compared to those who live in uh, urban areas in discussing this result, uh, these results, uh, the results have uh, results observed have shown that the high level of psychological distress are positively and significantly associated with a higher level of suicidal ideation, and then psychological distress in itself is accompanied, which is accompanied by uneasy feelings of anxiety and depression in response to specific demands on the individual can have either temporal or permanent effect on these persons 
and so that also has linkages with the the desire to leave whether the individual will have those thoughts running through their mind to either consider killing themselves or not have some connections with the level of distress that they experience and this observation has a uh, um, is closely related to the diastasis stress model, which talks about the fact that the higher, high, highly stressed individuals or the, the, the dynamisms of stress impacts on whether the individual will feel hopeless in their life and therefore consider the thoughts of killing themselves. Now, the results also show the higher level of religiosity were significantly associated with lower scores on psychological uh, suicidal ideation and these findings are consistent with some previous studies done in the past as example for instance Hassan and Ham uh, Hassan Alam and Co did a study in 2016 which also are in line with the current observation now what this means is that the more adolescent uh, participants were entrenched in when talking about Afrocentric values, the results are indicating that the more the okay. adolescents are entrenched. So we have this model developed, which has indicated the relationships that uh, were observed in the study. It's psychological distress showing how it impacted on suicidal ideation. Afrocentrism also in, uh, showing its relationship with suicidal ideation, then religiosity as well as place of residence. In conclusion, it is clear from the findings that higher psychological distress is likely to predict stronger suicidal uh, ideations among adolescents, and then as well, higher levels of religiosity and Afrocentrism are likely to significantly prevent adolescents from considering suicidal, uh, uh, considering suicide as well. And um, the conclusion is that in managing our clients as psychologists or therapists, we need to also find specific strengths that they can derive from their religion and their culture, which can actually uh, prevent them or insulate these individuals from uh, falling down the ladder of hope and also giving up on life and considering suicide. So therapies and counseling and guidance professionals and all that can focus on psycholo reducing psychological distress while they also strengthen the values of communality, concern for each other, which are part of the African culture. So this study, in actual fact, is applicable within the African setting and very useful. For future recommendation, since there are very rare studies conducted on suicide in Africa, and especially in Ghana, this study, for instance, forms the basis which individuals can also use these results to formulate new hypotheses for future studies. Thank you very much, everyone.